Hi guys, it's Longboy Thirsting here. A bit more cloudy than we forecast today, but it's still dry, it's still warm outside, 23 degrees. But anyways, the main emphasis of the news is uh, killer heat wave in North America, which sadly has claimed uh, 54 lives. Now this is um, updated about a day ago, so it could be a lot higher than it may say on this video. So if it is, I do apologize. But this is roughly how many perished on any things. But anyways, as we know, in the UK, the heat wave that has raised temperatures over the last two weeks is sweeping across the world. So as Britain braces, well, this was yesterday, as we had the hottest day of the year yesterday, we reached 29 Celsius in our region and 31, 32 in the southeast. But in North America, Europe, the Middle East and Western Asia have joined the United Kingdom on record-breaking temperatures. Thermometers all around the world have seen their degrees surging due to huge areas of sweltering pressure called heat domes, as we are most commonly use in North America. So this weather phenomenon causes prolonged heat and in addition with the poor air quality recorded in polluted cities, it can become dangerous and sadly even deadly as well. So NBC News meteorologist Shiri Pu said a heat dome is a result of a couple of factors that are coming together. So as we know, um, you got your jet stream, you have a building ridge south of the jets, the area acts as a dome, uh, and then under this dome you have the lot of sinking air. So sinking air is compressed and therefore it warms, and that adds in an excessive amount of heat in the dome. So the heat wave uh, has sparked chaos. 54 people sadly lost their lives, mostly in Canada as well, where the temperatures have climbed to a record-breaking 45 degrees Celsius, 113 degrees Fahrenheit. 24 of those who died were men over the age of 50 and lived in the upper floors of the apartments with no air conditioning. And Public Health England had warned the extreme heat could increase the risk of heart attacks and strokes. So Dr Thomas Race writes that during every heat wave we see increases in people phoning NHS, triple one, going to the GPs or needing medical attention for a variety of conditions. So heart attacks, strokes uh, and some minor things there are still very troubling for some people like sunburn and so on. So on top of that we know that in the first heat wave um, of every summer there was a rise in those illnesses but sadly also in deaths. The first heat wave in 2016, two years ago, we recorded the highest number of deaths for the whole year. It's difficult to say what's exactly heat related and what is not. So I think the important thing is making sure that we all take steps to stay healthy as well. The above average temperatures are here to stay for a while according to the University of Maine researchers and same here in the UK as well. The Met Office has predicted in the southeast, we're back to the UK by the way now, well today, well this was yesterday, we reached highs of 32 to 33 degrees Celsius. Um, well, and um, across the South East England yesterday. And the hottest day of the year of the UK so far was in Pomodog, Wales, June 28th, where temperatures have reached 33.2 degrees Celsius, I think, or was it 33.4? Uh, correct captions will be on there. Uh, but anyways, we know London hit 31 degrees Celsius, Manchester and Cardiff 26 Celsius, Edinburgh 24 degrees and Belfast 21 degrees. The 14 day heat wave so far is the longest recorded in the summer in, this U in the UK since 1976. So that's all I have to deliver from you today. Uh, 54 people died. Not a, it's a very serious thing with heat waves. They're not always the happiest thing in the, lo in the world. They can claim lives. 54 lives lost in Canada could be more than that. Maybe in the next few days if this heat continues. Um, but yes, that's all I have to deliver from you. Uh, still very warm this week, maybe not quite as hot, but still uh, other parts of the world may not be so lucky. So I'll keep you an update on that. And uh, like I say, you want me to do any more content, like, comment, subscribe. I'm always here for you guys. Storm's now out.